I was 16 years old when I decided to follow Jesus. I was an eager teenage boy ready to enjoy all the benefits of being a Christian. I still remember my youth pastor looking at me and telling me, you just made the best decision of your life. And I believed him. But soon after that, my, my Jesus high that I felt didn't last super long. I actually became very discouraged after making this huge decision. You see, even after this decision, I was still tempted by the same stuff I was tempted by before I was saved. I still struggled with pride like I did before I was saved. It felt like the only thing that had changed was where I'd spend eternity. But the place in my life I struggled the most was how I dealt with people. And that's when I realized a very crucial piece to our faith that I think often gets overlooked. And that was this, I play a part in my faith journey. I, I was under the impression that becoming a Christian, God would do all of the heavy lifting in my day-to-day -day struggles. I would encounter someone I didn't like and then, and then God would bring me peace. I would encounter a hard conversation and God would make it easy. I would have an interaction with someone who was hard to love and God would make them easy to love. But that wasn't the case. As a matter of fact, if you've been a Christian longer than seven seconds, you know this isn't the case. I firmly believe this is why Paul wrote this piece in Romans that changed the game for believers. He said, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Reading this in my time with God hit me to my core because Paul added seven little words that shifted the heavy lifting from God right to me. As far as it depends on you. Not as far as it depends on culture, not as far as it depends on the circumstances. He said, as far as it depends on you. This new revelation gave my, my life whole new meaning. It meant that while I was waiting on God to mend and, and fix my relationships with friends and strangers alike, he was also waiting on me. He was waiting on me to do all I can to live at peace with the people in my life. But can I tell you something that may be obvious at this point? He wants the same for you. As far as it depends on you, he wants you to pursue peace with those who are easy to love as well as those who are hard to love. Because Paul said we ought to live at peace with everyone. The rest of it is up to our Father in heaven. So here's what I'd love for you to do. I wanna challenge you. I wanna challenge you to comment down below a time where you felt like all the heavy lifting was on God, when in reality, he was waiting on you.